Wow. So this is really a thing now. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, actually, welcome to the Jagacast because we're doing this for the first time. The podcast where I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, and this is really a thing now. Wow. Also, you will be hearing that line like every time. That's my opening. But yeah, this podcast now is really a thing. It's always been on my mind for a while to do something like a podcast and or even to be a guest on a podcast. And I'm like, when will it happen? When will it happen? When will it happen? And that's the thing. I never really took the step to go into it to get more information about it. But the funny thing is that while I was at VidCon, this is being shot after VidCon, I found myself going into this panel why every creator needed a podcast. And along the way, they're not only telling us why, but they're also giving us like tips and tricks. They're answering our questions. How do I do it? And I'm thinking the entire time, wow, these things need very big and very intricate setups. And I'm like, how do I go about doing this grander scale thing? So I go up, I ask my question. How do we go about with stuff like camera angles? How do we go about with stuff like all these fancy gears? And the funny thing about it is that they said that you don't need to be intricate. And in fact, doing that, especially when it's just me running the channel, it's like, it's going to be too hard. You're going to put more pressure on yourself. So instead of focusing on that, focus on just getting started. And that's the funny thing about it. It's just like, how would I know? If I never get started, when would I get started if I just don't get started? And eventually I did have to put my foot in says I did have to like try to do something. So the minute that I came off that panel, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go all guns blazing. I'm going to think about all of this. We're going to ask ourselves, what is it that we're going to do for this? And the best answer for what we were going to do is just whatever that I wanted to talk about. I mean, yeah, I'd love also to hear your guys' opinions. In fact, comment below or leave some kind of message. What kind of things would you like to see on the Jagacast? And ever since that panel, my gears have been rolling with everything. And I was like, okay, we got to do at least one season, one season, 20 episodes, consistent upload schedule. We got to do these things and at least test the waters. And even if I don't get the results that I expect from doing the Jagger cast, the thing that matters is that one, I tried, two, I showed that I'm capable, and basically that regardless, I showed that I could stick to it through the very end. So yeah, this is where this all comes from. Now, It's really cool as well how we're getting all of this started, you know, because this is what I was thinking. It's like, how am I going to have this gear? What am I going to do with it? So this is being shot in my living room right now because I can't get any big, intricate sets. I can't do anything big and intricate. But what I can do is I could at least go on my couch, sit down on it, get a decent enough camera angle. It's kind of bad that you're seeing the door behind me. Well, if you're watching a video version, I'm going to try and see if I can do an audio version. But apart from having that, the gear setup is actually wilder than you might be able to imagine. So if you all haven't seen any of my videos, or if you all haven't seen any of my pics on Instagram, you guys know that I'm always holding like this big stick that I'm using for vlogging. I call it the vlogger staff. It's basically like a 70-inch tripod. By the way, Disney wouldn't let me into downtown Disney because of that. Wow. (laughs) It's basically like this big stick with a tripod that my camera and my sound equipment goes up on. That's the setup that I'm using right now minus the Rode mic. And the DJI mic is hanging off of it. And I'm wearing it right here. Like, you hear that? That's the DJI mic underneath my um, shoot. And then also, because I want these episodes to be half an hour, I think half an hour is a good sweet spot to be able to get in as much stuff as I want with these episodes. I think that's a good sweet spot. So I also have like a one hour countdown timer on my 
TV that I could reference to. So sometimes when I'm glancing, maybe I'm just looking at the time to figure out, okay, how much time do I have going into this? And then also for your guys' convenience, because ever since we started doing season eight of Hashtag Vlogs, we started adding timestamps. We're going to rewatch these and we're going to add timestamps at the bottom because there's going to be something that's going to cling to you when it comes to um, podcasts. And, you know, sometimes you may not want to watch the full half an hour of it. So we're going to try and put timestamps in the description and we're going to try and get everything to where we could give you guys an awesome watching experience. Because at the end of the day, it's like, I also had to think about what you guys want to watch. That's part of the reason why we are doing the convention circuit this year on Hashtag Vlogs. Because I'm trying to figure out what you guys would want to watch. And this episode... I know this is like, oh, I will not click on this. Maybe that's true. Um, the reason why this episode is being done to just get you guys acclimated is because I need to at least tell y'all, or at least want to tell y'all what's up. And there's going to be some really awesome stuff that's going to be happening in this podcast. So this feels like just one of those outlier podcasts that's going to do worse than the rest of their episodes. Just because, hey, I don't want to hear about this stuff that you're talking about. I want to hear what else you're going to be talking about. So, it's actually really interesting. It's kind of funny because the next episode, because VidCon is over already, we are going to talk about VidCon and all the other conventions that we're going to be doing. And we're going to have some really fun episodes along the way, but I do want to tackle some really serious issues as well on the vlogs. Sorry, as well on the podcast. Wow, that what, that came out wrong. And some of that is going to be like, oh, what about stuff like mental health? It's kind of funny because I'm a huge mental health advocate because suffering with what I have with seizures and panic attacks and anxiety attacks, and especially with one of the incidents that happened at VidCon of all places. Wow. It's like I want to continue to bring to light some of those issues and believe it or not I also there's something close to my heart with God and I want to have a few episodes where I talk about that and I want to plan everything to where okay I could talk about this and I could talk about that and I could also bring in some really fun stuff because VidCon's one I'm trying to think of some others I'm actually like on the plane I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna beat the Ace Attorney um, trilogy just now. Why don't we talk about that? Um, what about the Switch 2? There's a lot of stuff that I have in mind, and I also do want to hear genuinely from you guys as to what we could talk about. I do want to engage in the comments with you guys. So if there's anything that you guys want to talk about, leave a comment down in the description. Wow, I'm getting all my words mixed up. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Wow, that's... <laughs> but this is also, like, really good because I could just be authentic. I could just be real. I don't have to edit out my mistakes. And it's also good practice for me to be able to just speak out, to learn how to speak publicly, you know? And maybe I could get around my... um, What's the word? My, my mistakes. My mistakes. Because... I don't know if you all ever saw this in hashtag vlogs. Sometimes there's cuts, sometimes, well, in the newer seasons anyway, there's, like, we're cutting out some of these gaps. Sometimes um, there might be different takes, like in the intros, where we're introducing everything. And there's really just a lot of stuff in the vlogs that are semi-scripted. They're thought of on the fly, and then we say it out loud. And then we come to, and even sometimes with the podcast, I'm going to be like practicing my words, but if I make a mistake, it's not like, oh, let me just come, let me just take off this camera and then let's just not do this anymore. Or let's just like take over, start over from the top because I don't think that's what fully the podcast thing is. And then on top of that, because I don't have to deal with guests, at least not yet, let's pray and hope what happens. Because I don't have to deal with guests, 
yet. I don't have to cut around and edit around anything. I don't have to think too much about anything yet. And it's just as long as my mind, as long as I keep it sharp as to what we're seeing, as long as I don't have to, as long as I don't see anything bad, I think we should be good with all of this. Okay, so what happens if this isn't successful? Do I just give up? I don't think so. I mean, hashtag vlogs, I look at the view numbers. It's not the best series. It's not a good series by any stretch of the imagination in terms of view count. People tell me that they love the vlogs, and it's like, that's heartwarming to hear. But my view numbers crack up to less than 100. A lot of the vlogs, like, let me just pull up my phone real quick. Let me just pull this up so I can get the numbers. Oh, the best vlog this season though, that I know was the Insta360 review that we did when the Insta360, and that was me just capitalizing. It was like the fourth episode of the vlogs for season eight. 502 views, and that's, that's the best vlog of the season in some people's eyes. And then the rest of them don't crack those numbers. A lot of them only come up to like, what, about 60 views. And you'd think that some of them, you know, it'll, it'll be good. I'm not gonna let my self-esteem drop. And it's already coming from someone who has major social anxiety, coming from someone who struggles majorly. And I did have to deal with that this weekend at VidCon, where it's like, oh, did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? There's gonna be times when definitely, when I'm having one-on-one -on -one more intimate conversations, when I'm having more friendly conversations, where it's like, oh my gosh, should I do something wrong? Your mood changed. And we become hyper-analytical. But, I'm really trying. I feel like as though I made and then lost friends this week because of those social anxiety stuff. But if it's anything that I know with the channel, it's that if I let myself get anxiety from these things, if I let myself get anxiety from the fact that the channel isn't doing so well, then I missed the points of why I started it. And it's purely out of passion. It's not to see those numbers all the time, but the numbers are reaffirming. It's not so I can see the numbers all the time. It's so that I could at least be like, hey, this is something that I'm proud of. Even if it doesn't turn out well enough. And it's like, I'm so happy that I did it. I'm so happy that I continued doing it in from 2017. Yeah, I've had my lulls. I've had my short um, little seasons where I was like, oh, I couldn't do this because there's too much on my plate. And where I'm like, I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling not well. And it has nothing to do with the channel. But if I continue the channel and I keep putting on this facade, then everything's not going to be okay. I'm going to be feeling sick. And there's nothing even for me to vlog about. If I push a vlog out, out of nothing, it feels inauthentic. And in the same way, I feel like so that's what's going to happen on the podcast. It's like, if I don't push out something that I have a genuine feeling towards on the podcast, then it feels inauthentic. And I want to have authentic conversations with you guys. You know, I want to have authentic conversations on the podcast and even if it doesn't turn out well it's like hey this is something that i did i showed i could hold up a conversation for half an hour with very little forethought very little planning and i did this and i mean like maybe yeah we'll get people who could be on it maybe yeah we'll get people who want to come up i've already thought about that stuff ahead of time it's not going to happen this season but i want to see the podcast grow i want to see what happens, and I want to see who I could get on in the future of it all, because it's like, some of my ideas already is that I've written a book, and I know one other, I know a few other authors, actually, who would love to come on and discuss, hey, this is what it took for us as writers to come on, I would love to speak with somebody who I've seen grow and come out of the situation that they've been in before and to see where their life is now compared to back then i would love to have those kinds of conversations with some people maybe more serious but it's like i also believe and this is why there's another channel that's more grounded in faith stuff that you guys i would love to encourage you all to check that out it's called we and the gospel 
go and check that out. I'm also working on that in the um, like interim of all of this. I'm figuring out, oh, what do I do with this? Um, there's also the fact that there's a lot of really serious conversations and testimonies that can be shared, but I just can't do it this season because of if I don't show that I could get off the ground, then what's the point of wasting people's time asking them, hey, do you want to come in to shoot this if this isn't successful? That's where my mind is going with some of this. Although I would love for some people to be like, hey, let's come on. I would love to be able to invest in more gear eventually. I would love to be able to do this, that, and the other. But what's the point of investing in it if you don't see it come up to a point where it's worth investing this much in it. Your investment should be just as good as the rewards you reap from it. And I'm really hoping that this happens. I'm really hoping that that is what we see out of this. Again, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the worst episode out of the entire set. But that's because everything that I'm speaking right now is just how I'm feeling about doing all of this and whatnot. Because it's like, I really want to see this succeed. I really want to see the channel succeed. But I don't think hashtag vlogs alone is going to cut it. I'm also hoping that the convention vlogs, the bigger convention vlogs, like we're doing VidCon, we're doing um, Power Morphicon, um, when talks of doing nostalgia con now in Houston in December, we're hoping that some of these bigger conventions reap the rewards of the labor that I put into covering them. I really hope so. So by now, y'all are probably looking at the time and thinking, oh, okay, how much time does he have left? How much time do we have left? Um, the time that I'm looking into, and I don't know if I said this before, I forgot if I said this before, um, I'd say about half an hour. I would say roughly half an hour, 25 minutes to 35 minutes, unless there's something so close to my heart that I end, or end up speaking more and more about it to a fault that it's like, this is what it is. This is so long. And... Yeah, I really feel it's in my heart. Even right now as I'm speaking, it's like the fact that I took the first step to do this. It feels heartwarming. It feels joyful. It feels amazing. So what's going to happen is that we are going to try for, I'm hoping every Monday, except for this first episode. This first episode is going to come out like ASAP because I want to line this up with about a week after VidCon is done. So every Monday, um, we'll release it in the morning so that way you guys have the whole day to enjoy it. And then we will never have an episode of Hashtag Vlogs that releases on the same day as a podcast because the reason why is because I don't want everybody to get complacent. Most of the time if I'm doing that is because I'm actually kind of hoping to bury one of those episodes. I've done that before actually, like... Um, I've buried one of my vlog episodes with something else that's happened. Let me try and see if I can find it real quick. I buried my um, returning to the U.S. vlog from when I went home to Trinidad. Um, I buried it underneath another vlog that was covering GalaxyCon. And does it even matter? Does it even matter what happened? Because, yeah, the GalaxyCon vlog did better. It's rocking 75 views, but... Yeah. And guys, I really hope that you all enjoy this. And I hope also that some people take it as like an encouragement. Don't be afraid to take that first step to do this stuff. Look at the gear that I'm using. I'm using one Nikon Z30 attached to a tripod stand with my TV running a countdown clock and my DJI mic attached to me. Most people use like different types of mics. Most people use other mics to get this stuff done. And I'm like, this is what I'm using. This is what I'm starting off with. And I just want to grow. I want to be able to grow as a creator. I want to be able to have authentic stuff 
going on. I'd never, ever, ever want to be able to just play a character. I always want my authentic self to come out of all that. The only time I'd really want to be playing a character is when the role demands it. The blogs don't demand it. It never should. And the podcast shouldn't demand it. And it never should. It needs to be authentic in all of this. So I'm really hoping that I could build an authentic relationship with you guys. I'm really hoping that I could have fun with you guys along the way. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear what suggestions you guys have for all of this because I want to see this grow. I want to see this grow. I want to see everything come to fruition in the way that is authentic. And I think that's about it for now, you know? It's like, I'm, as far as I'm telling right now, it's like um, 22 minutes. I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. And it was really good to get acclimated with you all who are watching the uh, podcast side of me rather than the vlogger side. This is where I could be more calm. This is where I could be more um relaxed and this is where i could not worry too much about my wording and have to edit them to sound you know fast paced i'm really working on the channel i'm really working on the vlogs i'm really working on the um on just everything and i'm really hoping that you guys do enjoy it at the end of the day so apart from any editing to straighten out like vocals and everything all of this is done in one take. It's done without needing to switch up anything, like needing an Atoms board to um, run different camera angles. And I really hope that you guys just enjoy it. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome experience. So, guys, I will see you all in the next one. I'm still going to do, like, my regular piece outro because, I mean, like, that's become a part of me. That's part of my branding at this point. It's like, that's the vlogger stuff. Um, some of the ways I introduce these videos, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.